So first problem statement we have is unified uh, safety system for collision and collision prevention and hazard alerts. So description is develop an integrated system that combines proximity monitoring and obstacle detection to ensure safe crane operations using LIDAR, GPS, ultras, ultrasonic sensors, AI powered images, recognition, recognition, and the system should prevent collisions by monitoring proximity and define the geofenced geo hazardous zone and mm -hmm. detecting the obstacles in real time. It should automatically trigger slowdowns or emergency stops and provide alert to operators to ensure safety. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, there's a problem statement. One is about uh, collision prevention and maybe uh, hazard alerts for any area where the lifting machine is moving loads through restricted areas. So this applies to uh, tower cranes working in congested city areas, you know, where a lot of buildings and one of the building has a tower crane mounted on it. So if they want to move area which is not very safe so we had to you know disconnect that particular area or ban that particular area from the area of operation this works for uh, electrical overhead traveling cranes in the factories where in the same way there are more than one or two cranes and both can move simultaneously inside that uh, factory bay so if they are lifting a load which is beyond certain volume so obviously the travel should be limited so that it will not collide or bang against the other crane or some other machinery which is lying on the ground. And for the portal, uh, for the portal cranes which are there on the port and mounted on trains, limit uh, till where the crane can travel because otherwise it should be in a warning area. So all this uh, anti-collision systems we need for all kind of uh, material handling cranes at different sites. So this is not only for uh, a single type of crane, there are multiple type of cranes which will need these kind of systems, sensing of objection, uh, objects or maybe uh, some other interventions which are to the site, specific to the site and maybe using some LiDAR sensors or ultrasonic sensors, uh, infrared sensors to detect presence or absence of object and provide the operator with unif uh, a simple tool so that he can you know, take preventive action shut off the crane function altogether if a crane beyond uh, travels or takes load beyond a certain limit. So that is it is all about the first problem statement. Uh, we will take the question Q&A at the once all the problem statement and the hackathon map is finished. We will take the first question time. and Q&A answers at the end. All right. So we move on to uh, second problem statement. Uh -huh. So second problem statement is remote equipment monitoring and predictive maintenance dashboard. So description is design an IoT enabled platform that aggregate real time data from all equipment into centralized dashboard. The system should monitor metrics such as vibration levels, fuel consumptions, operating hours and temperature while providing pre predictive maintenance alert, trend analysis and historical record. OK, so this is where uh, we try to you know, introduce IoT into the equipment monitoring systems. All the equipment that we deal with are material handling, which are working in rugged and remote atmosphere, rugged areas where the data collection from the site itself becomes a big challenge. Right now, people are using some kind of uh, mobile applications or some you know, paper uh, system where uh, the operator or the maintenance team enters the data and all. So in short, the machine is not talking to uh, the data center. So if we can put some intelligent sensors where we can, you know, the, the, the control of the cloud system where we have intelligent uh, algorithm built to predict that certain failure is going to happen based on vibrations or temperatures or the consumption of the fuel on the engines, the operating hours the machine is operating for. Suppose, for example, if, uh, if at site 10 machines are there and two of the 10 machines are operating for let us say 24 hours and other three are operating only for two, three hours. So which machine to take you know, preventive maintenance first and how to go about it? And if we have database uh, you know, decision analysis for that, that would be a big uh, a boon for the equipment owning companies. So that's where this uh, problem statement comes from.
we move on to third problem statement that is predictive maintenance and consumable replacement system create an ai driven system that combines predictive maintenance with consumable monitoring it should analyze performance data detect wear patterns and predict failures in components like brakes filters and cables the system should automatically schedule maintenance and alert te alert teams to uh, consumable replacement needs to reduce downtime and improve efficiency okay so this actually um, is a brainchild of you know uh, ai thing machine type in the system that should create an uh, what you call a system for monitoring uh, the the entire usage of the machine on sites and um, from the data based uh, what are data we enter in it can it help us to make prevent breakdowns at site based on what all data we enter on that that how soon we should change the filters how should change with the brake pads and the electronic electrical data cables from that so this is mostly a data driven system where we collect a lot of data from different sites put it on a single platform and then create uh, business analytics to take some intelligent decisions about maintenance or replacement of the machines so this is more of a, a more of a computer uh, kind of thing that we call a it system based mostly on ai Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let me move on to fourth problem statement. That is drone enabled lift zone surveillance and hazard detection. So develop a crane based system, uh, drone based system for real time aerial surveillance of the crane lift zones. The drone should rely, uh, re relay live video feeds, use AI to detect hazards and obstacles and assist operators and site managers in planning and execution executing complex lifts with improved sustainable awareness. OK, so in this, what, what we really need is this heavy tons and above capacity of cranes. When these cranes work at uh, sites like refineries or petrochemical plants or you know chemical plants, there everything is not very uh, clean or you know very organized. So we have a lot of objects, a uh, lot of obstruction at the site. So if we can have a, a drone, maybe, you know, taking live video feeds while the crane is being assembled or being operated, and can we envisage the overall area, 3D evaluation of that area that, okay, this particular area is, you know, uh, the, the strictly no-go for the crane boom or the some rotating part of the crane. And operator also sees a live video feed on his uh, control panel in the crane exactly doing most of the time in heavy cranes you know the operator cannot see what he is lifting or where he is placing the load so that normally happens all the time that operator is working only on uh, solely on uh, what do you call the audio community signals over walkie talkie and all these things so can we have a video feed for the operator based on a drone you know which is uh, about the safe operation of the machine so this will this will require uh, you know sensing the video feeds, sending it over Wi-Fi network to the cloud, and then relaying it back to the operator or the project manager or anyone you know the superman the foreman who is controlling the entire operation, supervisor and all. Okay. And analyzing the video feeds for obstructions or hindrances in the crane path or the path of the load being lifted. Uh, we move on to fifth problem statement that is integrated diagnostic and maintenance management system. So design a comprehensive system and that combines automated pre-operational diagnostic with digital maintenance logbook. Using IoT sensors, the system should check critical parameters like vibration, fuel levels, and structural integrity before operations. It should also consolidate maintenance records, inspection results, and IoT collected data into an accessible digital log book generating automated reports for real time insights so this in essence is a combination or culmination of uh, you know two uh, the first two uh, the, i think problem statement 3 or 4 which was specific to only maintenance but this is the entire fleet management system what we are talking of maybe you know in this system uh, which will incorporate the the paper uh, 
the maintenance logbook so that we create a, a digital record of maintenance logbook of every machine. Put some sensors on the machine like sensing the fuel, sensing the filter clogging or any critical sensors or maybe R meters for that matter to check exactly how many hours the engine has run. And then maybe all the operators can punch in some data using a mobile application on the system or some sensors can directly access the system to punch in the data and compiling and combining all this data and take some decisions so that the life of the machine is, you know, really utilized well. So this will incorporate mostly embedded systems, the application development, uh, whatever IoT based sensors and all these things. Okay. We will do six problem statement. Uh, energy optimization and remote monitoring system. Create an IoT based system that tracks and optimize energy and fuel consumptions in real time. By analyzing operational data, the system should identify inefficiencies, provide actionable recommendations for op optimization, and issue alerts for refueling or charging to maintain the uninterrupted operations. Okay, this, this problem statement comes from the fact that the major expense for all heavy cranes is the fuel, that is the diesel. And being working at the remote sites, it is very difficult to monitor the correct consumption of diesel and, you know, to whether to know that whether the engine is working right or not. And these are, these engines we are talking of huge, they are 500 horsepower or more engines, 12 cylinders, uh, diesel engines and all. So installing a, a intelligent system because the fuel tank, what we see here, 100 liters or 1000 liters. And then at a time, if you have to fill 200 or more than you, know, you can imagine the, the amount of energy and, you know, the diesel that is consumed. So we need a system where, you know, real time tracking of fuel consumption is there. Either putting some internal sensors on the diesel tank itself or on the engine itself or based, based on the flow metro. The fuel tank and all these things so that, you know, we know exactly know how much diesel is being consumed on day to day wise basis. So that the correct project economics can be worked out because this is the major cost for all fleet owners, the consumption of diesel. So specifically for monitoring uh, diesel optimization, can we do something on that? Plus we are working in such areas where, you know, we might not have internet also. So how do we do that? Maybe you put a mobile application which will collect the data on Bluetooth or a LoRa van, something like that. So any way to collect the data from the site and push it to the cloud and then have a analysis analytical and abruptly rise or decline in the diesel consumption at sites. Okay. Uh, we move on to seventh problem statement. A uh, load monitoring and balancing system for safe operations. Develop a system that monitors load parameters such as weight distribution, radius, wind speed, and stability during uh, lifting operations. It should provide real-time feedback to operators to ensure safe and balanced lift and halt operations, halt operations if unsafe conditions are detected. Okay, I'm getting message. Is my is there any different uh, difficulty in the system? Mm, no, sir. You getting message as in? No, I, I got a message on WhatsApp from one of uh, now that your voice is uh, cutting in between. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Yeah. So it's is it's it better. clearly audible or should I change the network? It's OK for now, sir. It's OK. It's OK. OK, yeah, yeah. all right. OK, so this this particular statement uh, comes from the fact that, you know, whenever in automobile industry, we are handling heavy loads, heavy loads, which I'm talking of the heavy uh, dies or molds which are more than 10 or 15 tons or 20 tons. So if the slinging is not correct, you know, maybe one of the four slings doesn't carry enough load. And so when the material is lifted, there's a lot of chance that the material falls down. And then 20 ton, you know, imagine 20 ton falling down uh, from a height of two meters has a very bad impact on the die itself and the big uh, risk uh, to the operator who is operating the machine. So herein we need to 
have a wireless system which can monitor the the load in each slings, each of those lifting slings, maybe two, maybe three, and then a universal collector system which collects all the data and takes the analysis whether you know it is safe lift or not. And if it is not as per the safety norms, maybe we need to in this uh, heavy load. So whether the load is not balanced properly between the lifting slings, we have to decide and take some corrective action on that so that it increases the, the safety of you know, every lift in the industry. Okay. Uh, we move into our last problem statement, that is eight. Web based crane comp compressions and decision support platform. These are a web, okay. web based that okay. A crane comparison. Comparison. Okay, so this is actually a, a web application which helps us to compare two cranes. You know, like now, suppose if you want if you want to buy a car or a buy buy cost to maybe uh, a Kia, other crane, you know, other car for that matter, based on the engine power, the the drive system, the the boot capacity, and all these things. So there are a lot of cranes which are manufactured uh, worldwide. And it's very difficult to compare, you know, one 50 ton crane to other 50 ton crane. So can we give them a comparison a tool so that, you know, we can take a good decision which crane to invest in or which is a better crane for, for the doing the job? Uh, a 50 ton Japanese machine or a 50 ton German machine for that matter. OK, so there are a lot of parameters on which the crane is technically specified. So this is an ever growing kind of application where suppose if. Uh, on our on the on a web based uh, portal, maybe we can ask the customer to send us the data, and we can add that uh, device, uh, add that crane in the technical data library of ours, so that eventually we will have you know the library of almost all the machines, and uh, the user who will sign into the web, you know, maybe compare these cranes, maybe even compare the the capacity charts of a 100 ton a Japanese crane to a 100 ton Lieber crane manufactured by two different manufacturers and take some corrective actions on that. Or whether so for that matter, if someone wants to, let us say, lift a 30 ton load, if we can enter the requirements of 40 meters or something like which crane should I use? So our intelligent platform you know, will suggest a suitable crane uh, for that particular application. So it is necessarily a technical comparison of parameters of the crane and uh, giving the proper tool in the hands of a user to decide which crane to decide upon take upon or buy or rent whatever so this will involve the study of uh, the crane in detail entering uh, giving a simple or uh, effective ui for the operator to uh, the user to select which particular crane to have and then compare one two or at the most three cranes at a time just like cardeco.com, maybe we can have a, a crane deco.com. Thanks, nice. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, thank you, sir, for a detailed explanation of the problem statements. And I believe uh, that students and professors uh, are already buzzing with the ideas and the thoughts for the problem statements. Uh, dear students, these problem statements or the, sol the solutions required are are very much uh, required in the industry and they are very much demanding currently in the